Hello folks, today I'm going to show you how to make a medium level design. This is basically a little bit more expensive base, but it is much more useful in terms of being able to get routers to where you need them in a much quicker time and it requires much more car trim to run. So this is just like a, a little bit more advanced version. So I'm going to build uh, an air pad so you can pull your craft. And at the moment I'm just filling the silo up to what I have, up to about 10k. Well, I 12k thereabouts. Um, so I just fill it up and while it's filling up, um, it'll uh, construct it and then I have to wait a little bit of time. The server is a little bit laggy today so it didn't uh, build correctly, I had to wait a few seconds. So this is me cutting forward, cutting away, cutting away a couple of minutes of lag. Um, so I build the air pad and then I go to lock it and you press, you hold Q, so I'll just go back here and show you. You hold Q and you change axis and then you can lock it to squad or yourself only. Always lock it because if a greenie starts using your um, air pad, you'll rapidly drain your resources like so. Pull on a mosquito is 750 cartium and I think it's 400 for a Valkyrie. Um, so here I'm going to build a pillbox um, as a way to kind of hide um, all the important modules in the spawn tube. So I'm deliberately sinking it into the ground. To put modules and stuff inside you need to sink the pillbox into the ground. Um, I'm going to put a spawn tube in here and I'm put it right in the middle as best I can trying to hide it from line of sight. I tried to put it as far back but this is the only place it would let me. And then you go up to the very top of it and you press bind to the spawn tube. And so I'm going to go out next and put up. I was just checking the aircraft terminal here. Yeah, it's ready. Um, so I'm going to build three turrets around it. So you put them in a triangle around the AI module so it doesn't um, take a lot of resources. So here I'm putting down the router spire, but next I'll be putting down the turrets that defend the base. There's very little defences on this base but it'll take care of itself more or less, you know, a determined um, enemy or tank can take it down pretty quickly. But it'll stop the average um, player from going here because they're just there's a lot easier targets than this one. Um, uh, yeah. So I'm going to put down an anti-vehicle turret and I put it down the other side. I'm trying to put them on line, line of sight and I also fit them in. So I'm trying to get this line of sight here and you can see briefly you've seen that little red circle. That's the, uh, a node deploy zone like for the, it's too near to another turret. So I'm going to put down um, an, an anti-aircraft turret. So this will scare away most things because Aircraft do not like anti-aircraft turrets because they're very, very accurate at very long ranges if they fire on it. Um, it's a little bit glitchy me trying to put it there. Uh, so the next thing to put down is I always put the AI module next. Um, in you go. And then I'm going to get it in and then I go to put in the, oh, what you call it, repair module. So. This is a little bit more expensive to run, but it's um, a lot more useful. So what happens here is I uh, respawn at the bind to the spawn tube and I just redeploy and um, go over to the router pad, pull a router pad and then go to the aircraft and fly away. 